In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Next.js and Superbase Authentication using the library that I just created. So let's see how fast it is and how easy it is to do that. So first, I'm going to go into my Superbase documentation. This is I call SuperAuth. I put the link in description. And right now we have two components. So I'm going to go to installation. I'm going to copy this one. And this is my Next.js boilerplate. So basically, I'm going to paste this one. So this is going to install all the dependency and create everything for me. All right, so the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a component that I want to do register right here. So I'm going to copy this command right here, and then I'm going to run this one. All right, so right now the installation is complete. The next step that I'm going to do is to fill out the environment variable here. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to remove this one and paste all of the key that I have. So I'm going to press save this one. And right now I need to, all I need to do is just create a register page. So I'm going to do create register right here. And then let's go into page.tsx. And then I'm going to run this snippet. And then I'm going to import the register component that I just created. Okay. So I'm going to do this one. And right now it's done. So basically it's done. All you need to do right now is to go to your uh, URL and open this one. So I'm going to open this one right here. And then I'm going to go into the register. And so this is going to uh, show me the register component. So as you can see, this is what it looked like. So right now, I don't worry about making it to the center. Just test it first. So to test this one, I'm going to use my Gmail right here. I'm going to give the email. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one, this one, and then press continue. So if it's working, it's going to send the code to my Gmail. So you can see. And then if I come back here, and then I can see that this is the new email that sends to me. This is the code. I can just copy this one and I can paste and it's automatically lock in. It's blocked me from that page because I already lock in. So if I navigate into the register again, it's not working. Okay. So if I go to register, so you can see since the user is locked in, I cannot go to that. Okay. So that's it. So you can see how easy it is to do it. So basically you can just run two command, set up the environment variable and import the component and it's done. So you can just build your component and add more feature right here. So right now, let me walk you through what I have done and how I achieved this one right here. So the first one is you need to notice is that I'm using recent. Uh, I'm using recent to send an email right here. So this email right here, I'm using recent. So the reason that I'm use, using recent to do that is because Superbase it's not really good if you wanted to do with the OTP uh, email verification because they have the limitation. Let's say you be able to send three uh, email per hour. Uh, I think in testing mode, maybe in production, probably limit. They also recommend to use a third party uh, SMTP as well. That's why you, I'm using resend. So if you consider doing the uh, login with the email and password and user verification, consider using a third party like a resend. So in, like I did in this component, if you want to follow, it just use, uh, just paste the key of resend into here and that pretty much it, okay? And so uh, yeah, I guess that's all uh, regarding the SMTP. So if you walk, uh, if you can uh, go to my code right here, I'm gonna walk you through all the code here. So the first one, when the first command, the init command, what it does, the the init command right here. So we have the installation, the init command. So init command, it's going to create the super base. Um, library so the lips that relate to superbase not create superbase library uh, related to superbase so for example we create the admins for you the admin client and the browser client that you can use inside your client component and the server clients for using inside server component and the middleware and also route protection as well so as you can see this is the what i do to the route protecting and if you want to add uh, route protecting you can just go to the constant right here so you can see this is the auth pass basically chain it right here. And also I have the dashboard right here. This is like the protected page. So you, if you have more, you can just add it right here. Okay. So yeah, this is what init do. And if you have a chat CN, you can skip that. And for the second command is to register right here. It do a lot. It create a lot of files. So you can see first it's create the components that it needed and the server action, the API route, and also all of the dependency right here that it's need to install. That's why it take a while to install uh, this component. And 
uh, if you go back into here inside the super os we have all the component that you can see right here so all you need to do right now is use this one to you know if you don't like anything you can just change this one based on your application okay so you can just go and update this one and we i have all the source code right here already so you, basically you can just uh, go and change it and right here i have an api that this api is responsible to send an email for the user to do verification and i think the best practice on this one is you need to do rate limit i would recommend you if you going to implement this you need to do rate limit and to do rate limit you can check out my video i have uh, explained on how to do that as well so the reason that we do rate limit is that when we send an email using resend resend only able to send a hundred email per day in free tier a hundred email per day but um so if so that's why we don't avoid spam right we don't want anyone to spam so if you want to have like a default this one with rate limit comment down below i'm going to update this one or maybe i can set up in the documentation for you on how to set it up on your own as well maybe some of you don't want to do rate limit okay and here is not very it's really uh, simple and so basically all you need to do um it's just out of the box for you and we have the OSP, uh, this one. So this is uh, uh, responsible for the uh, OAuth. For example, log in with GitHub and Google and things like that. This uh, route right here. And the, we have the server action right here that do the verifications on your OTP that you get from your emails. And also this is, I have the email templates right here that is existing for you as well. Basically, you can just update this one based on your application and yeah i guess that's all that's all what it does the component right now the authentication is complete uh for the registration and sign in as well i think author oauth is working as well so let me show you by that so maybe if i go to register hopefully i can still go to yes and then i'm gonna press on github right here so this is going to do github authentication so as you can see it's done so i think the reason it's done right here um because i have set up the provider right here so all i need to do is just go to github and make sure i enable github authentication in my superbase so you can see this process is really easy uh, and because i take my time to build this component for you so if you planning to do this all over again you don't have to um so basically you can just run this command and get all of the code right here and if you don't like anything just go into the code yourself and you know just change based on your application and that's uh that's that's what i want uh to you know get out from this one and if you don't like it and then you maybe think that everyone might not like it consider contribute so it's uh it's mean very much a, a lot to me okay let's do that so i think that's and maybe the next plan that i'm going to do is this is the first step that i'm just wanted to show you but the second step that i wanted to show you is the user information uh let's say user uh the component that is ready for you to for example update your email update your password do the sign out just like clock so if you go into clock right here uh, maybe this one and then if you can see with clock they have this component for you like uh, the uh, email right here that uh, showed the personal detail like and then things like that so i want to build that component for you so basically you can just like i say uh, user profile and then you'll be able to see everything right here and yeah so that uh, you can manage you can sign out and things like that so that's what i want to do in the next step uh, uh the next component and yeah let me know if you like this project just give me a like to you know help me to do boost me to do uh give me motivation to do this by you know smashing the likes uh right here and yeah um so yeah don't forget to check it out the source code and everything is in the github uh, and don't forget to get uh give me an issues if you face any problem uh, and if you still have any question and still unsure um just drop the comment in the comment below so i am um, gonna answer to you and yeah as always thank you for watching and see you in the next video